praise the Lord, everybody. Come on in. Join Pastor Darlene Bell for the next few moments or so in Exciting Life Christian Center Church Flow. Amen. It's brought to you from Excite Life Christian Center, where yours truly are the pastors. Myself, Dr. Pastor Darlene Bell, and my wonderful, beautiful sister, Pastor Sarah Riddle Taylor, is the co-pastor. Amen. Right now, our services are via, or via, by the way, of virtue. But, you know, this won't last always. Hallelujah. And I tell you that we will be back in a facility. Amen. When the timing is right. But right now, we could gather together, two or three gathered in his name. He is in the midst. So come on in. Come on in. This is a church flow. Amen. Praise and worship. Scripture. I should say, wait, prayer first, praise and worship. Scripture. <laughs> Amen. Sermon. And as you can see, it's part five. Oh, out with the old, in with the new. We're going to talk about attitude on today. Woo, Jesus, you don't want to miss this. Amen. And then if you want to give, hallelujah, you can just cash app. Dollar sign, Pastor Darling Bell, all lowercase. Amen. We're going to have, of course, invitation to salvation and benediction. Amen. So when you come on in, you can share if you like. When you put your comments down, I'll share them with the world. How about that? Amen. God bless uh, Curtis Clifton Bennett for stopping by on today. Father, in the name of Jesus. That wonderful, marvelous name. That name that's above all names. In heaven, earth, and under the earth. So, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, how we love you, we praise you, we worship you. Show up and show out. Have your way in this service. In Jesus' name, somebody need a miracle? Lord, you are a miracle worker. That woman that needs a miracle, Lord, give that woman a miracle right now. That man that say, I can't see my way out. Give him a miracle right now. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Somebody needs strength, peace. Somebody even need a new job. Lord, we know that you can give favor. So, Lord, we thank you. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. This is your church flow. Amen. I'm just facilitating it. Amen. But you are the captain. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, Lord, you are already here. Amen. You're in our midst because we've got the two, the three. Lord, I don't both shall gather in your name. Lord, you are here right now. Lord, we would. We adore you, hallelujah, 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 our wonderful Savior. Not unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that works within us. Amen and amen. I'm going to acknowledge the ones that I see. If ever I don't call your name, it's just I don't see it. Amen. But listen, my friend, you know, after the praise and the worship, woo, we are we gonna have the scriptures that you put down. Amen. But God bless. I already acknowledged uh Curtis Clifton Bennett for stopping by. God bless April Warren for stopping by on the day. Thank you, April. Amen. Such a wonderful, precious young lady, young woman in the Lord. Woo! The veteran is here. <laughs> God bless you, Celestine Bishop. Celestine Todd is in the house on tonight. Amen. And you can catch her, her flow, her church every Sunday 10 a.m. 
Amen. Amen. Then we have Evangelist Sarah Bell, my youngest daughter. Amen. She just been churching today. Amen. I saw you on Pastor Ron Todd's church. Oh, that was so good. Amen. Pastor Ron Todd, pastor of Kingdom Dwellers Ministries. You catch him on Sundays. A international mission. Let me get this right. Kingdom Dwellers International Ministries every Sunday, 1059, and every Tuesday, <laughs> 729. See, I got it right. And uh, Bishop Celestine Thomas, Pastor of uh, Anointed by God Ministries. Amen. I am so excited. Everybody's joining in. Amen. Well, listen, we, you can start typing in the scriptures. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. You know, we thank you. I thank you. There's a lot of good church going on. But for you to stop by, thank you. Family Sarah Bell says, Amen. Bishop Celestine Ty says, Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> April Ward says, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Hallelujah. Mavis Sarah Bell says, have your way, God. Pastor Ron Todd says, grace and peace. Hallelujah. Pastor Ron Todd says, excited to be here at Exciting Life. Amen. Woo, we had a good time at his service. The word was so good. And then the shouting and the dance at the end. Thank you. April Ward says, love you, Pastor Darling. Love you too, my dear. Bishop Celestine Todd says, amen. And then after the praise and what I see the scriptures are coming. Amen. Standing on the promises of Christ my King through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God.
lift your hands up to the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we're standing. We're not going to budge. We're standing, like Paul said, having done all. Ooh, his presence is here. Having done all, stand. We believe you, Lord, every promise. Every promise of God in you is yay. And amen, Lord, we thank you. We adore you. Appreciate you. Thank you for every promise. You promised to heal us. So we are healed. You promise to meet all of our needs. So every need is met. You promise that no weapon formed against us. It'll never, never, never prosper. Woo! So no weapon won't prosper. You promise to bless our going out and coming in. We're truly blessed. Standing on the Thank you. Well, let's go to the scripture. Amen, amen, and amen. Pastor Ron Todd says that no weapon. Child, that's a shouting point right there. No weapon that's formed against me or you. What? It will not prosper. Woo! Hallelujah. And guess what? We got a back to back. God is letting us know. No weapon. Woo! I just got to get my little praise on that. No weapon. Hallelujah. You can form them all you want. It will not prosper. Hallelujah. 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 No weapon. Let's go to my style. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to stand firm on that word. Hallelujah. God is speaking no weapon that's for. Be encouraged, my friend. God didn't say, oh, no weapons will ever be for. No, the weapons are for, but it will not prosper. And let me, I'm going to finish that verse up. It says, but every tongue that shall arise, you, woman of God, you, man of God, thou shalt condemn. It is the heritage of the saints of God. Their righteousness is of me. Hallelujah. So you don't, you don't just, oh, well, I know uh, I'm not this, that. No, your righteousness is of God. Woo, I tell you, the Lord is preaching. He's speaking through his word. Glory to God. Pastor Ron Taz, Ty, Pastor Ron Taz says, the Lord is, you learn in school, is his present tense. Not I, well, I decide I might be not futuristic, not past, or the Lord was my shepherd. No, yeah, Lord, no, both shot, not that lie. He is. Hey, oh, the Lord is all up in here. <laughs> Woo, showing up and showing up. The Lord is. Come on, that's the word. My shepherd. Amen. I shall not want. Amen. That's the place he that God will bring you to. You will absolutely have no wants. Because why? Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. The last time I checked, there's no recession in heaven. No lack. If the streets are paved with gold, come on now. Woo, hallelujah. Woo, I tell you, you know something about God's word. It's just like, woo. Uh, Evangelist Sarah Bell says, in all your ways, not when you feel like it, but in all your ways, do what? Acknowledge him. What will he do? Direct your path. Not just your footsteps. But the whole path that your feet are on. Glory to God. Ooh, how awesome is that? How little boy. And you just got to trust the process. That's what Marietta, my oldest daughter, always say. Trust the process. Where he leads me, I will follow. Ooh, where he leads me, I, I will follow. Oh, yeah, 
and under the outside. All the way, all the way, all the way. All the way, the way, the way, the way, the way. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Where he leaves me, I'll follow all the way. Woo, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Evangelist uh, Sarah Bell says, with God, all things, not some, all things are possible. You supply the faith. I supply the faith. God will supply the power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's not a man that he should lie. Amen. Bishop Celestine Ty says, fret not. That's up because of evildoers. Amen. The Lord has already let us know their end, honey. He got it. He's got this. Amen. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. So thank you for that powerful scripture. Bishop Celestine Ty. She says, sing. Thank you. You're a woman of God that sang it. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Evangelist Sarah Bell says, trust in God with all thy, she got a little heart emoji, not partly, and lean not unto your understanding, your own understanding, but in all your ways. You see, God is speaking through these scriptures, all your ways, not some, well, I don't feel like praying about that. Baby, you better. And what's, what's going around? What's going around? You better. You don't just don't jump and do anything this day and age. All your ways. Well, I ain't got to pray about that. You, yes, you do. Pray about everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> All your ways acknowledge him. And he will, he will direct that whole path that your life is on. Amen. Jesus Christ said, I came to give you life. And that more abundantly. So as you draw nigh to God, he draws nigh to you. You draw nigh to him, he draws nigh to you. Amen. 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 And guess what happens? Then the Bible said, I will keep you in perfect peace. Because your man is on me. And what better way to keep your man on? Child, keep your, your spirit man infused. And God is all over the place on social media. Now this church, like my church, this is, I call this Studio 8. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the little fireplace. Church from the front room, Studio B for Wednesday radio shows where you see the little plant. But church from the church, <laughs> church from garages, church from the park, <laughs> church everywhere from the kitchen. <laughs> Child, keep your tank infused. You know, the Bible said delight yourself also. So you can take a little time for leisure. But delight thyself in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. When you get far from God, that leaves room. The Bible said give no place. To the adversary. Oh Lord Jesus, you you preach even before I get my sermon going. Oh Lord of Asha, you preaching Holy Ghost, you preaching. Oh Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Pastor Ryan says, Todd says, standing on the promises. Oh yes. Oh Evangelist Sarah Bell, a thousand shall fall by thy side. We look at the news, honey. Stay current, stay relevant. Child, we see that that scripture, the importance of Psalms 91. A thousand shall fall at thy side. You hear that? And 10,000 at thy right hand. God could have put a period there, but he has a semicolon. You know what that means? Something else is coming after that. But Junction. It shall not come nigh thee. It won't come even near you. Amen. Because, child, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. And anything that's trying to hurt us is going to get 
zapped out. Zapped out. Baby, this is not a time to be playing. Amen. Don't play. You know, you infuse your spirit, man, in that quiet time with God. And then child is a whole bunch, like I said earlier, ministry, good ministries that you get infused by. Don't sit around infusing yourself with a bunch of junk. Amen. You young people, don't sit around listening to cussing and profanity. Uh, somebody calling you and your mama and they mama a, a, a female dog, don't do it. Baby, you're a queen. You're a princess. You're a child of God. Hallelujah. You're not a garbage can. Hallelujah. No, 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 wash up. Or just a bunch of profanity and illicit. I don't know who this is for. You know, it's probably somebody's going to come on. Like, illicit lyrics. Suggestive lyrics. That's totally going against the word of God. Don't do it. Child, it's a lot of uh, good artists out here. That's singing, Pastor Ryan Ties. And I'm a, a musical artist too, my sister. So we gonna, uh, we got some good classical lecture. We're gonna put, put that out there on in the social, or like what you all say, all outlets. And then I'm, God is giving me some new songs. Hey, cut her up, old shot. You don't have, and there's a lot of artists out here with contemporary but good lyrics. Watch what you feed your spirit, man. You sit around watching drama all day. You say, well, I'd rather it not be in my life. Absolutely has no business. Amen. But if you sit there watching all that all day, what you think? The Spirit's going to come knocking at your door. God, Lord, I'm preaching. Woo, hallelujah. Pastor Ron Ty's clapping up, clapping his head. We better say, I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He's my protector. I will say, what well, my mama... Baby, you better say it with your mouth. He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. You know, God is speaking through his word this morning. Amen. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Ooh, I will say the Lord, he's my ref refuge, my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. Now, what you talking about this morning, Pastor Ryan Todd? Don't question God on every, well, why this happened? And people have come to me too. Well, Pastor Darlene, you got, why you let that happen? I said, why don't you ask him? Unless he gives me an answer. Trust him though. Glory to God. Amen. Pastor Sarah Bell says, standing on the promises of God. Bishop Celestine Todd says, beautiful. Pastor Ron Ty says, praise him. <laughs> Bishop Celestine Ty says, hallelujah. April Ward says, praise him. Pastor Ron Ty says, yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, April Ward just shout out, shout out a good one. <laughs> oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, have your way. I got I got my sermon plan, even if I don't do but a little taste of it. Because you see, it's, if we're on part five. It's in Jessica. Jessica, God bless you. Jessica Lynn with Lady Jenny's came in. She and her mom, they are, I'll say, professional cooks. Gifted. Gift, like my mom and my mother in law were gifted cooks. And I, sometimes I say, What you cooking, Jessica? She says, Pastor, I got something going on in the crock pot. Ooh, like a roast. Mmm. <laughs> now, I hope I'm not making anybody hungry. Don't go run it off to eat. <laughs> But this is a crock pot message. Not so we just rush through. Amen. 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 April Warren said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Now see, God is letting us know. You got, God will be what you allow him to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A shepherd leads the sheep. Because if the sheep just, oh, I'm going to just run off. Do what I want to do. There could be a wolf out there waiting. God is our shepherd. Let him lead you. You don't lead the Lord. Amen. 
And to hear his voice, that means you spend time with him. Amen. Start somewhere and just start increasing your time. If you're not, if you're not sure, because life can get really busy and it seems like time. Whew, time looks like it's going, have sped up, look like it's going a little faster. Amen. Get you a sheet of paper. Jot down how much time you're spending with the Lord. This is the wisdom of the Lord flowing all in this church flowing today. Bishop Celestine Ty says, Amen. Woo! April Warren says, Surely goodness and mercy. That's a great combination. Goodness and mercy shall what? Follow me. Woo! Wow, look what's following me. Goodness and the mercy. Come on now, that's the greatest combo ever. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, the days of my life. Woo. Pastor Ron Ty say amen. <laughs> Pastor Ron Ty says yes. Bishop Celestine Ty say come on. Woo. Let's see. Pastor Ron Ty says yes. Amen. Amen. Don't, I love that. That's right. That's, thank you. Pastor Ron Todd, his message said, don't put a question mark where God has put a period. Period. <laughs> Is that how you young people say period? Amen. Keep it moving. Okay, what you stuck in the mud for? You know, you move on. And sometimes, I'm telling you, you go through something and you move on. Everybody not going to be happy that you have strength to move on. But don't worry about the naysayers. Amen. Amen. Jessica live with Lady Jenny said the joy. Of the Lord is my strength. Woo. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you, my other little spiritual daughter. From Excited Life Christian Center, Robin Badon. Evangelist Robin Badon. She came to the door and said, hallelujah. Well, listen, my friend, I am going to pray um, for the message. Amen. Come on, get your Bibles, get your iPads. Say, Pastor, you spent a lot of time on the Word. Yes, I did. <laughs> I think God is trying to tell us something. I'm starting to say God trying to tell you something. <laughs> he trying to tell us something. The word is what gives you morsels and strength. You know, amen. amen. And, and what's nice about this social media, guess what? You can always come back. Rewind. Woo God bless. God bless. My oldest daughter, Mary Etta Elliot. Hallelujah. Woo. Evangelist Sarah Bell says hallelujah. Ryan Bedon says hallelujah. Get your Bibles. Get your iPad. We're going to actually get to the word. I'll probably just do a, just a tidbit of it. Is your all or the altar of sacrifice let
get a goat. No, 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 no. Well, what does God want from me? So glad that you asked. He wants you. All of you. Lay down your life with tears. Spirit, your soul, your body, your mind. He wants your talents, ability, he wants even your money. Yeah. Is your the altar in Father, in the name of Jesus. That name, Lord, that's above Yarabasha, all names. In heaven, earth, and under the earth. Lord, that name that will soothe our doubts, time or fears. Lord, the name of Jesus. Lord, show out. Well, you already been showing out. So now, Lord, work and speak through me in this sermon that you've given to me. Amen. I'm just a delivery woman of God. Amen. I'm the mail carrier. <laughs> but, Lord, let this penetrate our hearts. Lord, make, let this word be easy to digest. Amen. And your word says some will bring forth. 30, 60, 100 fold. Yes, Lord. Bless us collectively, but bless us individually. You know, each of us is standing, each of us we're standing in need of. Lord, you have handpicked the ones that are listening to it now or later. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you. I will not miss it to the left or to the right. I will be right on point. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I bind every hindrance spirit. I bind spirits that will make people's minds wonder. I bind spirits that will come against people that are trying to digest this, this message. I bind attention spans, short attention spans. Right? That's a spirit. Get out of shot. Right now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless J.D. Myra. She says, yes. Listen, my friend, I'm looking. I've got to I, I gotta go grab my notes. Amen. Get your iPod, Pat. Don't go too far. I'm not going far. I just got to get my notes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hold this Bible. Say, this is my Bible. <laughs> Say, it is the word of God. I can do what it says I can do. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am what it says I am. Come on. I am a child of God. A God walking in victory in every area of my life. I can have what it says I can have. I can have an abundance, life abundantly, and no lack. Why? Because my God supplies all of my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, J.D. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful compliment. She says she's sharp at home. Amen. Amen. Just want to represent the kingdom. Yes. <laughs> God bless my other spiritual daughter representing it. I like Christian Center. Watavia Denise, thank you for stopping by, young lady. She says, God bless everyone. J.D. Meyer says, amen. Now, listen, my friend, we are on part five. Out with the old, in with the new. Amen. Amen. The old is former, is past. Amen. You, you can't do anything about it. And it's time to just let it go. Amen. In with the new something that has never existed before. Amen. Amen. Today we want to talk about attitude. Last, the last four parts we talk about giving. And you know the first part of what you make, the tenth is not yours. So we, we dealt with that. But we want to talk about attitude. What is attitude? Amen. 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 Your attitude is... A way of thinking or feeling about someone or something. 
typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. Amen. Quick question. How's your attitude? <laughs> How's your behavior? Amen. Are you a positive or a negative person? Negative people tend to focus on others' thoughts or they all. They approach situations from a pessimistic, that's a word that means negative, viewpoint. Assuming the worst in any situation. Amen. Assuming the worst is in any given situation. I like to give credit to gotquestions.org. Now, moving from that, I want you to, there's a little example. Amen. How would you describe this? Well, the pessimistic person would say, oh, this is half empty. But the optimistic person say, you know what? It's half full. The positive person. You know what? A little bit more is going to be filled to the top. So my friend, listen, some, some of us, and anything I preach, guess what? I'm the first partaker. We need an attitude adjustment. Amen. Out with the old type of attitude. Well, I'm, I'm who I am. Well, yes, all of us. But there's always room for what? Improvement. Out with the old, in with the new. I got a new attitude. I don't know if somebody wrote that song. Baby, get a new attitude. Not that you're going to get cocky or anything. But let me tell you women. Ooh, Jesus. You are a queen. You are a princess. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. 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 And if you got an attitude of des being a desperado, Lord, take this spirit of desperation. Amen. Many of you are waiting to be found by Mr. Right. Child, focus on Jesus. For a few months, make him your boyfriend. And I guarantee you, he will bring the right one in to you. A tailor made. You don't have to settle. Amen. All right. That wasn't even in the notes. So that's a freebie right there. Glory to God. Okay. Uh, we talk about how negative people just always, you, you could be, I mean, have everything in place. Maybe it's a tiny little piece of lit right there. Instead of saying, oh, and thank you. Uh, and I get compliments, but I give a lot of compliments. So they say, oh, you know what? I like your outfit. Oh, uh, child, look, there, there, there's a piece of lit. There's a piece of lint on you. Amen. No, don't do that. Women, give each other compliments as much as you can. Because what you're doing is encouraging others. And they'll, they'll come back. Amen. All right. So let's go to our scripture. Well, I give a lot of scriptures. So that's why I say get your note, your iPads. I know you young people can, like, text them quick. Amen. Text the notes down. But I love, I still like ink, pen, and paper. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Basil Sarah and I don't always agree on that. I said, no, I want to get, get my paper pencil. <laughs> That's our school. Get, you know, type it up. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Amen. Let's, let's, let's go to Matthew 7 and 3. And when you have it, say, amen, amen. Thank you, Jessica Linwood, Lady <laughs> Oh, I should have known that because she is one of my favorite Sing a new attitude. She said that was Pat, Patty LaBelle. I love her singing. Oh, amen. Sarah's laughing. Yeah, you got to have a new attitude. You better know who you are, whose you are. You don't just let, like Pastor Sarah say, any old pair of britches come walking in your life, the pants all shiny. And look at a man's shoes when you meet somebody. I, this is not in my notes. <laughs> if he got run over, dusty, Shoes look like they the bottom has been <laughs> glued two or three times. <laughs> Run. <laughs> and if he show you that he is a heck cat, run. He overly jealous. You you together and then you know, all of us are so pretty women. Somebody may say, Oh, you so cute. Uh I like your dress and then they go get jealous. Run. Okay, Lord, please. Okay, I'm a few more minutes. We're just going to get started today with part five. 
Ooh, I tell you, the Lord, Holy Spirit is just all in this place. Ooh, Jesus. Matthew 7, 3 says, why do you stare from without, and this is the Amplified, from the very small particle. Here, you got to get like this. Wait a minute, let me see if I can find something wrong. <laughs> From without, it's in a very small particle that is in your brother's eye. If you have a, a spirit of jealousy, say, Lord, take this jealousy out. Amen. You just get so close. I got to find something wrong. No. No. It's in a very small particle that is in your brother's eye. But do not become aware of and consider the beam of timber that is in your own eye. You know, have anybody ever got a, a splinter in your fingers? Oh, we buying that because it's so, it is so little, but it hurts. Well, imagine you, you know, this is just an uh, example. A little tiny, a something size of a splinter in your eye, which, you know, stuff is in your eye, you can, it's irritating. So you just pick it up. But you have somebody come with a big old board. Something the size of this Bible sticking out of their eye. <laughs> oh, let me see. <laughs> Ooh, child. Out with the old attitude, in with the new. But Jesus said, a beam of temper that's in your own eye. Verse 4. Now, this is Matthew 7. Baby, write it down and digest on it later. Or oh, how can you say to your brother, let me get that tiny, tiny particle out of your eye. Oh, let, let me help you. I see that big old board. But you got this big old, I see that tiny little space. Let me get it out. But you got a big old board sticking out. Your, how you going to say? I didn't say this. Jesus said it. Amen. How can you say your brother, let me get the tiny particle out of your eye when there's a beam of timber in your own eye? Oh, look, let me put a pause button. I'm, I'm going to stay on this five more minutes. Listen. Wives, and this is not in my notes. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Wives, if you marry, you're married. <laughs> Give your husband some compliments. Build his ego up to the roof and be grateful. Sometimes guys may not catch on. You guys, no disrespect to you all. Sometimes guys just may not catch on as fast as females. Build your husband's ego up. Here the man have gone out, brought groceries, amen. Maybe stop by and get you and the kids a little something, something. He comes back. Oh, what kind of groceries you got? You're complaining, you know? Build your, build your, or if you got in a serious relationship, you know, uh, maybe he went out to wait up to put some extra effort in his dress. Hey man, got the little matching gym shoe, <laughs> matching top, maybe a little cute hat. Hey man, he comes, you, you meet up or you go on a date and you say nothing. Then here come another old Susie. <laughs> Miss Cabbage, uh, Sister Cabbage come by. Ooh, you are so fine. Men need their egos built. Don't find fault. Don't be a fault finder. You know, he may have a little speck, may have a little something wrong. Amen. Amen. But don't just think about all the, the good stuff that he's done. Amen. All right. Men. Okay, I talked about the last hour with the lady. Men that's watching now or late, men, husbands, don't you dare deprive your wife emotionally. Give your wife a compliment, compliments. Especially many women, you've had babies. Everybody know you carry that baby nine months. Okay, yeah, you, your ankles get a little swollen. Amen. You gain a little weight, but husbands, you should let... Your wife know, you know what? Oh, baby, you, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. And then if the wife go all out the way to get a new outfit, ooh, and put it on, 
and you say absolutely nothing. Husbands, don't do that because you are starving your wife out emotionally. Amen. Then when the first Mr. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Lord, Mr. Whoever come along. Oh, you fat? You know, I'm not going to say that, you know, that's going to draw her. Don't starve your wife out emotionally. So for the husbands, the wives, those that's in a serious relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend, because that could lead to becoming a fiance, then later on a husband or wife. Compliment. Build each other up. Woo. Okay, I got a few more minutes. So we're talking about attitude on today. Ask God to help you not to be judgmental or negative towards yourself and others. Father, Jesus' name, I know we probably have all been guilty, but help us, God, not to be negative toward ourselves. Don't be too hard on yourself or others. You got to like and love yourself. Amen. Don't compare your, your looks or anything with anybody else. Be happy with the skin that you're in. Oh, Lord, this is a good lesson. <laughs> Woo, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. It is time to receive a kingdom mindset. Somebody can type that in. Kingdom mindset. We're human beings, right? Yes. And you all are born with that Adam nature. You know, if you are a mother, you have children or grandmother, you do not have to teach little um, that little grandbaby of yours to lie or even to get smart. You know, you ask the grandbaby or your mother, uh, hey, baby. <laughs> yes, mommy. Yes, grandma. Yes, daddy. Yes, granddaddy. Did you, the, the cake. There's a, a, a big slice of cake. I, I told you not, I said no one touched the cake with the chocolate ice. I wanted to cool down. Did you take it, little one? No. Okay, let me see your hand. Do I have to? <laughs> they put the reach of hands, all chocolate icing on the hands. Here's her hand. Chocolate's all over the face. You don't have to teach children to be deceptive. That Adam nature, we come with that. Amen. Because of what Adam and Eve did. That's why the Bible says we were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. So we have to learn how now from a human mindset to be kingdom minded. And that, this whole lesson, we're going to deal with that. Amen. 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 It is time to receive a kingdom mindset. And that's why the Bible says be equally yoked. Because you are, you, you totally kingdom mindset. Now, I'm not saying that person has to be on the level you are. Because some of you are at the level of being a minister, evangelist, pastor, preacher, etc., etc. But at least have somebody that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If they say, oh, I, I don't know, I don't believe in all that. You know, uh, somebody wrote the Bible, and uh, the Bible got ears, and, and it's, it's just to, to control you. Uh, I don't believe I, the church is in me. I, I don't have to go to church, amen. I don't have to pray to what a man of sin, child of man of sin, a guy named Jesus, amen. Somebody just too far apart from that, and they have a carnal mind. We're going to talk about carnality. I mean, no kingdom mindset. I got a word for you. Are you in? Run. <laughs> Romans 8 and 5 say, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death or deadly. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now, verse 7, I'm going to read that and dwell on that a little bit, then we're going to stop. Verse 7, because the carnal mind, what is a carnal mind? Well, I'm so glad that you asked. Either you are spiritually minded or totally fleshly minded. Carnal means that I've accepted Jesus Christ. Yes, I did. As my Lord said, I prayed that sinner's prayer. Woo! 
but your mind is still the same. You got to, you see, when you pray that sinner's prayer, your spirit, the spirit man is born again. What about the mind? Does the mind instantly change? No. How do I change from being king, from carnal to kingdom? You've got to spend time with God. You have the desire, Lord, you are the potter, I'm the clay, mold me, make, and as, it's a process. Just like a baby come home from the hospital. It's a process of that baby growing. It's called growing in the Lord, but as you grow in the Lord, guess what? Your mindset is different. You become from fleshly, carnal thinking to kingdom thinking. Well, Pastor uh, Darlene, is it dangerous to be carnal minded? Yes. Let's verse seven. We're in Romans, the eighth chapter. Because the carnal mind is enmity. It's an enemy of God. Because the, the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law. God tell you to go left, you go right. God say, uh-uh, leave that one alone. Well, Lord... No, I don't want to. He's this. <laughs> uh, it says the carnal mind. Carnal, once again, you saved. You know, but your mind, baby, your mind is off. Your mind is still carnal. You still thinking and acting like somebody that doesn't know the Lord. God bless my other little spiritual daughter, Sherry Craig. Amen. Say like Christian Center. Listen, we're talking about an attitude today. Amen. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to stop because there's so much I can say. But it says, it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Verse 8. So then they that are in the flesh, we're in Romans 8, cannot please. I talk about an attitude. It's time for attitude adjustment or a new attitude. You cannot, they cannot please God. Get rid of the old attitude. Can I do it on my own? Absolutely not. How do I do it, child? With neology. Neology, baby, get on your knees and you pray. You talk to God. You spend the time with God necessary. Get in his word, even if you have to take small doses of his word. Little by little. Get in the word of God. Get the substance out. Amen. Amen. Woo, get rid of the old attitude. Line your attitude up with the word of God. Ask God for help. Glory to God. Get rid of stinking thinking and off thinking. Off. That's why I said off. You thinking like just craziness. You know, your mind is just. You know, and God can touch anybody's mind. Glory to God. Romans 12, 1 said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. This temple is your, this body is your temple. A living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. Give your life totally to the God, to the Lord, surrender to him. The word, and I'm going to stop here. The word of God should be the main focus of your life. Well, I got to go to verse two. Be not conformed to this word, world, but be transformed, changed. You, you've seen some of the shows, the little transformers. They may start off as a little car, you know, those little pictures. Then they go totally into a, a nice race car. But God is one you have to change. Be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Oh, this is so good. I got to do one more and then we're going to stop. Psalms 39 1 said, I said, I will take heed to my ways. Take heed to your ways. Woo, Jesus, that I said not with my tongue. Watch your words. Well, I just couldn't help it, Pastor Darling. It's okay. Like I've always said, everybody got that little ratchet monster on the inside, ratchet girl, ratchet uh, boy. And it will come out. Amen. But that doesn't mean it's got to stay out, Lord. Ooh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I allowed that person to get the best of me. But Lord, I'm asking this day for, let me do better. 
It says, I will take heed to my ways. Psalms 39 and 1. I will take heed to my ways. I will take heed to my way. Think about how you act and behave. That I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle. Child, muzzle your mouth. Don't talk so much. <laughs> I will, I will keep my mouth with a bridle. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, I need a muzzle on my mouth. Amen. <laughs> While the wicked is before me. Woo. We're going to stop right there because I could go on a little longer. Woo. Amen. 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 And I tell you, the saints are all giving some good response. Glory to God. Glory to God. J.D. Myers said, wait a minute, let me go up. Amen. Okay, she left off. I got to read down again. She said, you sharp at all. <laughs> Thank you. She's all in the message. Why Taven Lee said, God bless everyone. J.D. Meyer, amen. April Warren, amen. Why Taven's clapping her hands. Jessica Lynn with Lady Jennings. That was Patty LaBelle with a good, a new attitude. Amen. Amen. Paper, Evangelist says a paper is old school. I love my paper and my ink pen. Notes. <laughs> Why Tavia Denise is laughing? She says, preach. Evangelist Sarah said, amen. Evangelist Sarah said, good word. Uh, Evangelist Robin Dye said, all right, now say that. Evangelist Robin said that. <laughs> Ooh, Evangelist Robin, kingdom mind said, amen. Evangelist Sarah, amen. You are teaching. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Everybody need encouragement. And Sherry, great. She, I don't know, Sherry, where you get these good emojis? Got big clapping hands. Why Tavia said that's a great word. Thank you. Jessica Lynn with Lady Jenny said, Yes, preach pastor. Sherry Gray's got the questions. <laughs> oh, Sherry Gray is just like, okay, but listen, it's not, it's for all of us. Amen. All of us need to improve our attitude in some area, including Pastor Darlene. Ouch. <laughs> Sherry Gray says she's got the thumbs up. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen, my friend. I'm going to continue this. Out with the old. In with the new. Oh, it's one little point while I was preaching. God said, we are kingdom representatives. Amen. And I know that, you know, uh, social media is just that. And it's how you want to use it. But don't present yourself, girls, ladies, gentlemen, a certain way on social media. Amen. Because people, when they see it, they're not going to forget. So just be, have a mindset of, wow, how am I presenting myself? Amen. Am I presenting myself that I'm a kingdom girl? I'm a kingdom woman? Wow. Or you present yourself that I don't care. I'm loose. I'm empty. Amen. I'm carnal. And I don't know who that's for, but the Lord, I had to, to put that one in. Whoo, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Marietta Elliott says, get in the word. Yes, amen. Pastor Ron Ty said, amen. All oh, my area. <laughs> Cherie Gray. Listen, don't be hard on yourself, Amen. Well, Tabia and Denise said it's getting heated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I, that wasn't even my note. He said, how are you presenting yourself? And the way you present yourself, what kind of man, women would you draw? You draw some person that's empty, carnal, you know, potty mouth, amen. Oh, Jesus. Or... You're representing God's kid. Now, look, I know you young people like to have a little fun. Amen. Go on and have your fun. Amen. But representation is everything. Amen. That's enough of that. <laughs> so out with the old, in with the new. We're going to continue the attitude on next week. Continue. How many parts will this series have? Till the Lord say we're finished. A side life? No, I stayed on... Faith Clinic 101. G 
Jesus Christ the miracle work. I stayed on that for months. Amen. Amen. Pastor Ron Sata says tight, but it's right. Ivana Sarah Bell said amen. <laughs> Sherry Gray got these little smiley emojis. Amen. Oh, now Pastor Ron Todd didn't, he didn't play what he said. Don't be giving away your cookies. Now Pastor Ron <laughs> is a pastor of Kingdom Dwellers International Ministry. He said, don't be giving away your cookies because there is a cookie. He said, there's a cookie monster. <laughs> that's right. That's all the cookie monster want to do, ladies. Get the cookie out the cookie jar. And then said, see you. Wouldn't want to be you. You know, guys, life challenges. That hasn't changed. My mother and my sister taught me that years ago. That boys talk. They get what they want to get. And then they talk about you behind your back. And then they move on. Amen. You got some women cookie monsters too. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ooh, so you men watch out for the women cookie monsters that just want the cookie. <laughs> Ooh, what's that little say? Who took the cookie out the cookie jar? Number one. <laughs> Ooh, amen. 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 Let's let's let's. Oh, geez, let me pray the prayer of salvation with everybody. Lord, we thank you. Oh, Jesus. And I want you to pray too, Lord. Help my attitude. I surrender all to him. I freely Today is your day, woman. Today is your day, man. Lord, I'm giving you my all in all. My attitude, even if it's a foul one. Lord, my habits, even though I've got to improve in those areas. All to you, Jesus. My money, my mind. Hey, Lord. I present my body and living sacrifice. And what about if you miss it? Okay, you miss it. Is it the end of the world? No. What about if you purposely plan to see it? Because <laughs> sometimes sin can overtake you. Like, God, how did I get in this position? How did I get there, Lord? It can overtake you. But sometimes you may purposely plan to see. Oh, God, the Holy Ghost is all in our business on the day. <laughs> Even at that, you ask God to forgive you. See, that's where a lot of people go wrong. You know what you did was wrong. Well, I'm just human. Yes, you are human. Still ask God to forgive you. Maybe thoughts came to you. Instead of you buying into those thoughts, you entertain them. The devil give you some thoughts that you know you shouldn't be thinking. Oh, uh, here's some popcorn to go with that. Here, here's a uh, <laughs> Pull up. Let me get the big screen. Let me get a bigger screen out. You sitting there entertain those thoughts. No. If your thoughts come, you ain't got to entertain. Lord, this thought is coming. I bind that in Jesus' name. You got to learn how to wait on God. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Well, let's pray this prayer. Romans 10 to 9 simply says, if you would confess with your mouth, Believe in your heart. God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. And it's a process. Pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that Jesus Christ, oh, I feel his presence, is the Son of God. He died on the cross, Lord, just for me. Put your name in it. Lord, he died on the cross for Pastor Darwin Bell. If I had been the only person on this earth, he still would have died. They put him in the grave. He's no longer there because he has arisen. He's alive right now. Come a man, woman, boy, girl, pray this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, come in my heart, my life. Save me, Lord. Forgive me. Of all my sins, wash away all my sins. Well, I'm so sorry. 
with the blood of Jesus. What, Lord, forgive me for things I did willingly and unwillingly. Sins of all missions, stuff I should have done, like pray, fast, seek you, read your word. Forgive me for those sins. That's omission. But forgive me for sins of commission. Lord, I thank you. Wash away all my sins with the blood of Jesus. You're now my Lord, my Savior, and my Master. According to your word, I'm right now born again. Welcome to the family of God. As Pastor Sarah would say, Lord, cultivate them. Things of the Lord, God, strengthen them. Say, pastors, after their own heart, in Jesus' name, amen. And, you know, of course, I highly recommend a site like Christian Center, amen. I tell you, I don't believe there's another church that have more loving, dedicated members and supporters than a site like Christian Center. You come, you, we're going to love you. <laughs> and there's no judgment sold, amen. Church where you can roll your sleeves up and work. Amen. We want you to feel comfortable in a place of worship. Because the Bible said all have sinned come short of the glory of God. Amen. We'll be back in our... We're going to just believe God for our own facility. Amen. So we're just, you know, working and planning on that. Amen. And mentioning that, listen, it's good to have young people around you. Marietta, Evangelist Sarah said, my, you need to get a cash app. So Sarah actually set it up for me. So if you want to give, your tithes, your, and I thank the Lord, the ones that have come through. Yay! Amen. Just simply dollar sign. <laughs> Pastor Darlene Bell, all lowercase. Dollar sign. I just want to take a little time and give you an opportunity to give. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, it's time for communion. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Evangelist Sarah Bell, text Pastor Sarah and tell her we'll start at 2... Tell them we'll start at, at 2.40 for the uh, the fellowship. Please text her now or call her. Thank you so much. Amen, amen, amen. It's just the Lord. We were in a spiritual crock pot on today, just taking his time and our time. Sometimes you rush. You may rush out of a certain place where God said, wait. I had this blessing for sister so and so. I had this blessing for brother. Where, where are they? Stop rushing so much. I don't know who that's for. Stop rushing so much. Well, my, you know, my my uh, attention span. And and that's understandable. We live in different times. Amen. Amen. I think I've been. I gave an example. Sometimes going to fast food. Well, when I was going. Amen. Child, you sit there for one minute. Hello, hello, hello. Take my order, but this is not hello, hello. Take my order. It's not hello, hello. Have it your way. It's not a fast food. It's God's way. And sometimes you got to take a little time. Go with the spirit. With my, my short attention span. But you can binge watch hours of program. Come on now. Amen. Let me read the rest of these comments. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to take communion. Go get your, while you're getting your communion. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Sharice Grace says hallelujah. Marietta Elliott has a prayer in hands of Sherry Grace. I'm going to try. And that's all that God requires is for us to try. While Tabor Denise said amen. Marietta said get in the word of God. Yes. Pastor Rod Todd says, amen. Sherry Grace says, all my areas. Oops. <laughs> what? David Denise said, oops. Amen. She says, getting heated. Yeah. Sherry Grace, out with old and with the new. Pastor Ron Todd says, teach. Evangelist Sarah says, amen. Tight. Pastor Ron Todd said, tight, but it's right. 
Sherry Gray has these beautiful little smiley faces. Sherry Gray says, amen, amen. Pastor Ron Todd says, amen. Hallelujah. My Tavia Denise said, Lord, help my attitude. Lord, help all of our attitude. We all have areas we can improve in. Lord, help us. Help us all, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Let us have an attitude of gratitude, a mind, kingdom mindset. Amen. Sherry Gray says, good. Why Tavia Denise said, Lord, help my mindset guide me. Wow. So Evan Sarah Bell says, Amen. Sherry Grace said, help, help my attitude. Sherry Grace said, help me with everything. Lord, we need your help. I lift to the hills from which come my help. Psalms 121 says, my help comes from where? The Lord. Sherry Grace says, Amen. God bless Courtney Good, good, and my little niece stopped by today. God bless you, Courtney. Amen. Thank you. Amen. She said, you look beautiful, IT. And you know, you're always so pretty. Thank you for that. Amen. Ronnie Sue Singer, my sister brother-in-law, stopped by. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sherry Gray, for putting that on the, the chat. That's the... the uh, Dollar sign, pass the dollar bill. <laughs> that is the cash app. When you send it, it will go to our, our um, I'll make sure that it goes to our church account because we, we, we're, we're building up kingdom work. And you know, we still have our TV radio shows. So thank you for every, every amount that comes in. Amen. We're on TV, radio, and then there are other expenditures. But I'm so excited. I know God is going to bless us. Amen. Like, whoo, he's never blessed us before. Courtney Gooden says, she's clapping her hands. Sherry Grace says, amen, amen. Even Sarah Bell says, amen. Sherry Grace says, hallelujah. Courtney Gooden say, amen. Help my need for instant gratification. Amen. Thank you, Courtney. That's right, Lord. And, and not just you. That's the spirit that's in the land. Instant gratification. We wait on the Lord. Lord, we come against that spirit right now. We bind it in Moshe. Jesus' name, the spirit of instant gratification. Can't wait. Just answer. I want it. I want it now. Thank you for that, Courtney. Amen. Sherry Grace says, you're welcome. Let's um, communion. Amen. Woo, Lord, this was a good church flow. The Holy Spirit spoke. Amen. He spoke. He spoke. And of course, I'm sanitizing my hands. <laughs> Just to be an example, no one else plays my piano but Pastor Darlene. Amen. I'm sanitizing because don't let your guards down, young people especially. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You go out, put that mask on, and I put on my little, you know, little gloves. Amen. Amen. Keep yourself six feet from folks. Amen. That's not your immediate family. And don't you go putting yourself in some sweaty, hot, big old group gatherings. Don't do it. Don't do it. Use wisdom. And that's why every week we take out time. We cover everybody with the blood of Jesus. All the names on here. We're covered with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, because I believe when we're going with the blood of Jesus, God is going to zap, zap whatever's trying to come against us. That's our only protection. Amen. And of course, do what you need to do in the natural. Pray about everything. Amen. 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 Sherry Gray's in agreement. She said, we received that. Our own beauty. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes God will put a pause button on things. The pause is not to hurt you. It's really to help you. So God in this whole world, God put a pause button just to settle down. Know that I am God. Amen. Amen. Well, the Bible says as often as you do it, you do it in remembrance. Communion is symbolic. When are we supposed to do it? The Bible said as often. Amen. I've shared with you, I take communion every day for me and my children. Well, your children are grown. Yes, they are, but they're still my babies, whether they're young babies or old babies. <laughs> Amen. So it's symbolic. And what you do, see, that's just feeding your inner man, infusing. Lord, I, I remember what you did. You, you don't have, If you don't have a kit like this, it's okay. Get a cup. 
put some juice in it, apple juice. Preferably, you don't have apple juice, honey, get any juice you got. I'll have the water. It's symbolic. Crackers, cereal. And, and we take this, Lord, and of course, we ask forgiveness of our sins, Father. Wash us in case somebody just come in. His body was broken for you. Through his wounds, we are healed. He is beat. Take, eat. This is my body. As often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. And I believe like when we're lifting up this community, I believe it's really blessing us, our bodies, supernaturally. The blood that Jesus shed. Well, we thank you. It will never lose his power. The blood protects. We overcome by the blood of the lamb, the word of our testimony. Lord, you shed your blood for me. Put your name in there. I put my, Lord, you shed your blood for Pastor Darling Bell. Lord, we thank you for everybody right now. Lord, cover us. Drink. This is my blood. The new covenant. Remember the old covenant says often, no, it said, when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. to God. Well, my friend, we are at the end of a wonderful church flow. And I would encourage you for a few announcements. We're on this church flow every Sunday, 1 p.m. Amen. We're having the virtual service right now. Every Wednesday, our radio show, Glory to God, 7.30 to 7.45 a.m. live, exciting life radio show. Amen. Thursdays, you can, uh, I'm on at the table of prayer with London, Washington, a few other ministers, Dr. Octavia, Dr. Milborn, and we're just, woo, talking about the word of God and offering salvation at the end. Amen. Every night, praise break. Woo, you say every night, until the Lord say something different. Tonight, tonight, 930. Woo, where the praises, we show out. We show off, amen. Go hard in the paint for the Lord, amen. And then, Darlene is there, Gospel Spectacular show airs every Sunday on Comcast at, if you're in East Macomb, no, if you're in Macomb Counties, East Oakland, amen, it airs 8 o'clock a.m., Channel 90, Detroit, Comcast, catch us. 6.30 p.m. Channel 20. Somebody say, I don't have Comcast. Hey. BGN TV Gospel.com. That's Bell Global Network. My second oldest son, Antone, his beautiful wife. If you a minister, you say, I'm ready to get out the boat, get my own show on TV. If you're on Facebook, go to Antone Quarry Board Bell. And what we're doing now is airing the classic shows. Amen. Oh, airing some of the classic. And then uh, sometimes videos at the end. Last week, my video that I did, I miss you. This week is Can I Get a Witness with Antone Quarry Board Bell. It's his video. Ron Oski. And I just do a little singing at the end. So you don't miss it. Um... Go to bgntvgospel.com and whenever he gives me the link, I'll put it on the Facebook page. Whoo, thank you. God bless Jacqueline Mitchell for stopping.
happened back. Right now, we touch and agree that the blood of Jesus covers my youngest daughter, Sarah Bell. Lord, cover her and her family right now. We touch and agree that the blood of Jesus covers Jessica Linwood, Lady Jennings. Amen. And her wonderful mother, Evangelist Robin Bedard. Lord, cover them right now with the blood of Jesus. And our church family, Sight Life Christian Center. Lord, we touch and agree that the blood of Jesus covers J.D. Meyer right now. Lord, cover J.D. Meyer. Myra and J.D.'s entire family right now with the blood of Jesus. Lord, we touch and agree that the blood of Jesus covers Tavia Denise and her mother, Sherry Gray. Cover them, Lord, and their families right now with the blood of Jesus. Life Christian Center too. Hallelujah. We touch and agree that the blood of Jesus covers my oldest daughter, Marietta Elliott. With the blood of Jesus, we touch and agree. Cover her and her entire family, Lord. Cover right now with the blood of Jesus. We touch and agree, Lord, that the blood of Jesus covers Pastor Ron Todd. And his family, his church family, Kingdom Dwellers, International Ministries. Cover right now, Lord. With the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, Lord, that the blood of Jesus covers Pastor Bishop Celestine Ty and her entire family and her church family anointed by God Ministries with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm calling the names that I see. If I don't call your names, it's just I don't see it. Amen, 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 amen. Glory to God. We touch and agree that the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, covers my little pretty niece, Courtney Gooden, Lord, cover her, her entire family right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, Lord, that the blood of Jesus covers Rodney Sewell Sr., Rodney and Becky, my brother and sister-in-law, cover them and their entire family right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But we touch and agree that the blood of Jesus covers Jacqueline Mitchell Robinson. Cover her family and her church family. St. Matthew AME Church. And I believe that's everybody. Amen. Thank you, Evangelist Sarah. She said the blood of Jesus covers you as well. I receive that. Jesus' name. Extra covering. Woo! Evangelist Sarah Bell says, God bless you abundantly and richly. Powerful word, mom. Thank you, darling daughter. <laughs> That's D-A-R-L-I-N-G. I know you're darling's daughter, but darling daughter. Just a sweetheart for the Lord. Amen. Courtney Gooden says, amen. You know, we always end with reading Psalms 91. If you're not reading Psalms 91, that is your guaranteed protection. Read it every day. We're going to end with Psalms 91, and that will be it. Another wonderful church flow. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. Psalms 91. Come on, we're reading that. Read it every day. Don't you dare leave your home without reading Psalms 91. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestle. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness and is walking. The Bible says you don't have to be afraid of it. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. Don't worry about people who have done you wrong. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, your ha thy habitation. You live in God. Amen. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwell. No plague. Amen. No disease. It will not come near you. Glory to God. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear you up in bear thee up in their hands, and lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. 
the young lion and dragon shall I trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me. This is God speaking to you. Because you have set your love upon me. It says, therefore will I deliver him. God will deliver. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me. I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Long life. Will I satisfy thee? Show you my salvation. Stretch forth your hands and receive this blessing. We can lift them up, whatever is comfortable. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee. The Lord be gracious unto you. Give you peace. Keep you in perfect peace as you keep your mind on the Lord. The Lord just give you joy, unspeakable, full of glory. The Lord give you an abundant life. Lord, keep you healthy, wealthy, wise. Keep you blessed, prosperous, enjoying life. The Lord give you his wisdom in dealing with your situations. The Lord bless your going out and bless your coming in. The Lord bless your lying down and your, your rising up. The Lord bless you in your work or if you're an entrepreneur, your business, hallelujah. The Lord bless you even in your leisure. The Lord calls you to be successful every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, that in your life, there's nothing missing, nothing broken. Lord bless you in every area of your life, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, relationship. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you, keep you to be creative in the name of Jesus. Go with God because he'll go with you. I'll be back tonight at 930 we're going to praise God. Hallelujah. God, God loves you. Of course, I love you, but God loves you more. The best is on the way. Our little spiritual orchestra, our heavenly orchestra. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. You know what? I see two that's all here. I was getting ready to dismiss. I still see, and it may be others, but I'm looking at Evangelist Sarah Bell, and I see Courtney. Man, you, 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 you little ladies, lift your hands. Are we getting ready to go? Get ready to go. God said, lift that need up to him right now. What do you need God to do for you? God said, tell, tell him about it right now. Lord, move by your spirit. God said, see it. See your blessing. See it. And he's working on your behalf right now. Do it, God. Do it. Do it, God. Do it, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do it right now. Child, you better pull that blessing on down. It's done. Jesus' name. Amen. Tell him a blessing just for you.